Hello, you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Yo, Expo from Expo Media here to give you guys a quick tutorial on the XP pen and Photoshop to create your own logo design. Now, if you guys are into things like this or cameras, gamings, or other type of tutorials, please hit that subscribe button below and let's get to it. I'm not going to go too in depth about this app for the XP pen, but what I will do is put a link in the description so you guys can go check this app out. It's very handy. It allows you to change everything that you that you want basically on your XP pad from changing all the buttons on the side, changing your work area, changing how you want to use your pen from different monitors if you're working on a dual monitor or a single monitor setup. Um, I'm not going to go in too in depth, like I said, but I just wanted to show you guys this because I didn't put it in my last tutorial and it's very handy. So make sure you guys check out the XP pen link to go download the driver that you can use to set up this, um, app. Okay. It, it helps you with changing your pen size as well, pressure and everything. So with that, let's get into it. All right. If you're new to Photoshop, what you want to do is create new, go ahead and select that. And I usually just do a default Photoshop size with seven inches by five inches. You can change that depending on your project. Next, what you want to do is hit a new layer in the bottom right corner. Take my background layer off. And now you can name your layer whatever you want. All right, now we're here, we're going to go ahead and select our rectangle tool. I'm going to go ahead and use red. You can use any color you want. I use red because I know I'm going to use black letters. So this is basically just going to be a liner for my logo. Um, I'm basically going to use this to make it as precise as I can because once you start getting into detail, if it's not precise, it's going to look really jagged and really ugly. So what we're going to do is we're going to select a pen tool and we're going to use the pen to create borders for the letters. I know there's four letters in the first word and two letters in the second word. So I go ahead and kind of give a rough, a rough estimate of where I want those letters at using this border. And once we finish that, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and duplicate this border layer. And then I'm just gonna drag it right below so I can just copy it straight from the top layer so things don't get too confusing. As you see right here, I'm gonna duplicate this layer and I'm gonna drag my top layer down to the bottom of my border my my rectangle right there use those lines to guide you so it's correct those purple those pink lines use those lines to guide you so it's as accurate as possible accuracy is key when starting from scratch all right now i use my drawing pad in different ways um for different reasons now i'm drawing an s right now um, an S is a little harder to draw because there's a lot of curves, so I'm drawing the S from scratch. But any other letters that are easier to draw that have more straighter lines, I advise you to use guidelines that I'll show you later in this tutorial. But right here, go ahead and draw your S, and then once or whatever letter you're going to use, and once you draw that letter, go ahead and fill it in all the way um, with whatever color you plan on using. I know I'm using black, so I filled it in all the way with black, as you can see here. And the thing about starting from scratch is that it's a lot of work and you're going to have to be really precise. It's going to come down to zooming in all the way to the pixels in order to make this as precise as possible. So right here, I have an idea in my head of what I'm going to create. Um, so all I'm doing now is doing a lot of retouching using my eraser and my pen until I get the shape that I want it to be. Uh, as you see here, I'm going through and I'm going in pixel by pixel and I'm making it as accurate as possible all those loose bumps and speed bumps as you as i can call them um, on that s you want to get those out unless unless you have a reason for doing that but if you're trying to be as accurate as possible you want to make that as straight as possible you have to zoom in all the way to the pixels in order to erase those and clean them up and now you can see that s is really coming together it's not perfect yet but it definitely is coming together all right, and now you can see that I'm using my lines to create my other letters. I highly advise using lines to create any words from scratch because it helps you trim them and make them real neat 
at the end and it gives you some guidelines on where you want your coloring to stop and it'll also make your logo look less like a color it will look like a font so if you want to create your own font this is the way that you would do it as well so here i set up some lines uh, as a v and i colored inside those lines to make it look crisp and i'm going to even go in a little more and use my eraser tool and clean it up as well here with the e i started with some with some lines again and drew a little box and filled it in and then I just go in pixel by pixel as you see here and clean it up as I need to make sure it's as straight and as accurate as possible because when you zoom out you'll be able to tell how accurate bam looks like a perfect square almost when you zoom out because I was able to clean it up pixel by pixel now it gets pretty easier from there you're able to copy and paste um, all those squares and now I can kind of use those as guidelines to create the rest of my E so when you use your your drawing pad definitely lose use lines if you can because it's going to help guide you and it's going to make it way neater and you'll be able to see as you go um, getting in there pixel by pixel definitely clean it up once you finish making your letter you can erase all these lines and borders that e looks really good um, filling in that E a little bit more. You can see how crisp that E looks. It doesn't even look like it's hand drawn anymore. And I have to use the E again, so I'm able to just copy and paste it. And now to draw the M, I use the lines again. Go ahead and use those lines. It may take a little while, but it makes it way easier as you go. All right, you see that M is about to come in. And I go ahead and I get my lines squared away first. So it's not going to be perfect, you know, but you're going to draw over it anyway. So don't stress if they don't line up correctly. I was able to take that V and use that as a guideline for my M as well. So there's definitely shortcuts in this process. You'll find your own shortcuts as you go. But this is just the way that I do it. And I figure my way may help you guys out. So if you guys find new ways, definitely drop some ways in the comments or things that you think might be easier than the way I'm doing it. Now, after that, I use my hand selection tool and I select my entire logo and I go through and I sele press select and mask and I give it a little uh, feather, just a little to clean up any extra, um, you know, coloring that may be on the outside. Smoothing it would be nice too. A little contrast because it's only black add and then add a little feather right here and that'll basically make it even crisper just in case there's a little bit of excess anywhere and basically you just take that you copy it you can open up a brand new file and you paste it onto the new file and i would use that as your actual png so that way you can save the file that you're working on as a photoshop file but then take this file and use it as a jpeg or a png file and with that that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more tutorials coming up from cameras, design, Photoshop, and anything that uh, deals with Adobe. Go ahead and leave some comments down below on what tutorials you would like to see. If you are confused on anything in this video, please drop it in the comments so I can see what tutorials I need to make for you guys. With that, Yo Expo from Expo Media. Thank you for tuning in. See you again.